Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series wherein we are looking at the questions from BASIS Certification Prep Guide. In this video, we will see the questions from the chapter which is titled Generating Data with Do Loops. So we have our first question which says which statement is false regarding the use of do loops. So the first option says they can contain conditional clauses. Yes, we can have some conditional clauses within the do loop. And the second option says they can generate multiple observations. This is possible if we can, if we use an output statement within the uh, do loop. So between the do and end statement. So this is possible. And it's the third option says they can be used to combine data and proc steps. No, do loops are a part of the data step construct. They are not part of proc and we cannot combine data and proc steps using do loops. And the last option says they can be used to read data. Yes, we can uh, use do loops to read data from external files by placing input statements within the loops. So the option that is correct for this which statement is false seems to be the third option. Let's go with that and then see. It says our response was correct. Let's move on to the next question. The next question says during each execution of the following do loop the value of end is calculated and added to its previous value. So how many times does this do loop calculate? So they are saying that we will each loop the value variable uh, and is being calculated and is so here we are actually calculating the amount and maybe here they are repeating it for 12 months month is equal to 1 to 12 so each month amount plus and multiplied by rate and then that is again added back to the earned value so the question here is how many times does the do loop execute? So here on the first statement we have amount is equal to 1000 and then rate is equal to 0 0.07 divided by 12 and then we have the loop here do loop so which is using do i is equal to 1 to n kind of construct. So here so we have an upper cap specified which is 12. So uh, the question is how many times does the do loop execute? So here we have specified 12 from 1 to 12. So by default it gets incremented by 1. So it, it runs for 12 times. So let us see if we have an option called 12. So we have one. So let's go with that and then see if that is the case. So it says our response is correct. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question says on January 1st, each year $5,000 is invested in an account. Complete the data step below to determine the value of the account after 15 years if a constant interest rate of 10% is expected. So we are being asked to provide a line of code which is used to identify the or determine the value of account after 15 years. So we have a sum statement is being used capital plus 5000 years because each year we are investing additional 5000 and then we also get an interest of 10% so which is capital plus capital multiplied by 0.1 so which is 10%. So we need to write or identify the statement that actually does this repetition of these two lines for 15 times. So that can be achieved by using do count is equal to 1 to 15 because we need to explicitly run it for 15 times so we need to use or specify that upper bound and we need to run it for 15 times so we can start at 1 and end at 15 so let us go with that option and then see it says our response is correct let's move on to the next question this says in the data set work dot invest what would be the stored value for year variable? So a new data set named work.invest is being created and within which we have a do loop is being used between do and end and then so we have year variable being incremented from 1990 to 2004 and within which we have two statements capital plus 5000 and capital plus 
capital multiplied by 0.14. So the question here is what will be the stored value in year? So for this we need to have a basic understanding on where the counter gets actually incremented. So it starts at 19, 1990 and then so it these two statement gets executed and then towards the end of this loop the value in year gets incremented by one so for example after the end of uh, first loop so this will become 1991 somewhere here just before the end so and then it goes back and then checks if the value incremented value 1991 is in between the specified start and end so 1991 is, is in between uh, 1990 and 2004 so it gets increment uh, these statements gets executed and then 1992 1993 and so on will happen so when and then there will be a time when it reaches that 2004 and then so it checks whether 2004 is in between 1990 and 2004 yes that is the case so then these two statements gets executed and then this will become 2005 here towards the end of the loop and then it goes back onto the top of the loop and then sees if 2005 is in between 1990 and 2004 so as this is not the case so this falls back of the loop and then comes to this run statement as we have not used any output statement here the only time the record gets returned to the output data set is when it sees this run statement or the step boundary so when this step boundary is being uh, executed so what is the value present in year variable it is 2005 so the correct option would be 2005 so let us go with that and then see it says our response was correct let's go through the explanation also so at the end of the 15th iteration of the do loop the value of the year is incremented to 2005 because this value exceeds the stop value of 2004 the do loop ends so at the bottom of the data step the current values are written to the data set so let's move on to the next question so which of the following statements is false regarding the program shown below so here we have a do loop which is starting from 1990 to 2004 and then we have two statements well, two some statements here basically so we are adding 5000 to capital each time the loop gets incremented and then we are also calculating the interest like capital multiplied by 0.1 and then assigning it back to capital and then we have a output statement and then followed by an end statement so let us go through the options and see what is the case it says the first option says the output statement writes the current values to the data set immediately yes that is the purpose of the output statement so we know that in SAS we the observation gets built within PDV which is an area in memory so each time the value whenever it sees the output statement whatever is present in the PDV at that point in time of execution gets returned to the output data set so the output statement actually writes the current values to, to the data set immediately so that is true so uh, the stored value for year is 2005 so here if we see the output is placed here within the loop so in the previous question we have seen that this output statement was not there so whenever we use an explicit output statement the default implicit output statement at the run is overwritten so this no longer works so the observation gets written only at this stage so the while well, when it is running for 2004 the record say for example it is running the loop is running for 2004 the record is immediately written to the output data set when it comes to the state of this output statement so and then here the value gets incremented to 2005 and then the goes back and then checks if 2005 is in between 1990 and 2004 so as this is not the case this falls back and comes back to the run statement but we have an explicit output statement used here the implicit output statement fails here or does not work anymore so the last time the value uh, is written to the 
uh, output data set the value is only 2004 so the stored value for year is never 2005 because it is getting incremented to 2005 but as we have an output statement before that 2005 is not actually returned to the or not stored to the output data set so this is false so the output statement overrides the automatic output at the end of the data step this is correct the do loop performs iterations 15 times so here 1990 to 2004 we need to check subtract the 2004 minus 1990 plus 1 will be 15 so the loop actually runs for 15 times so we are looking for the option which is false so which is our second option so let us go with that and see it says our response was correct let's move on to the next question so this is how many observations will the data set work dot earn contain so we have work dot data step being used and within which a value of 2000, 2000 is being assigned to a variable named value and then we have a loop which is incrementing which is running from 1 to 20 by default the increment will be 1 so it will be run for 20 times so within that we have interest is equal to value multiplied by 0 0.05 then value interest is added up to the value variable and then we have an output statement so we if we have an output statement we know that the this runs 20 times so if we have output statement within the loop so each time the loop is run a observation is written to the output data set so as we have an upper cap of 20 so it runs for 20 times so the number of observations in the output data set work dot earn will be 20 so let's move on to the next question it says which of the following would you use to compare the result of investing four thousand dollar a year for five years in different banks that compound interest monthly so assume a fixed rate for that five year period so here we need to use nested do loops because we need to increment it for three different banks and also monthly so let's go with that option which says nested do loops and then see it says our response is correct so let's go through the explanation also it says place the monthly calculation in a do loop within a do loop that it rests once for each year so if we want to increment for year and then for month within a another loop so we can just write it do year is equal to 1 to 5 and do month is equal to 1 to 12 and then place other statements which we need and place the other statements which we need within the loop so we need to end both the loops using respective end statements so this ends the inner loop and this ends the outer loop so as we are nesting a do loop within another loop so we call it as nested loops so let us go to the next question it says so which statement is false regarding do until so we have different kinds of do loops the first one is like kind of uh, normal so we specify i is equal to 1 to n kind of thing and the second one is do while and the third one is do until so there is a variation so within while and until so when we use do while loop the condition gets checked at the top and then if it is true only then the conditions or uh, the statement specified in the loop will execute with do until so the statement gets executed until uh, uh, at least once and then the condition gets checked at the end of the uh, do loop so let us see what all options do we have so the first one says the condition is evaluated at the top of the loop so we are looking for do until so the condition is evaluated at the top of the loop before enclosed statements are executed no the condition actually gets checked towards the end so this option this is not actually correct so the enclosed statements are always executed at least once yes this is the case with do until as the condition gets checked towards the end 
So SAS statements in the do loop are executed until the specified condition is true. Yes. And then the do loop must have a closing end statement. So as we are looking for an option which is not correct. So the first option seems to be the closest match. So let us go with that. So it says our response is correct. Let's move on to the next question. So it says select the do while statement that would generate the same result as the program below. So here with do until loop, so the loop gets run until this condition is becomes true. So once this condition becomes true, the loop uh, stops and then uh, the record gets written to the output data set. So but the opposite for until is do while. So within which the, the while loop gets executed only when the condition is true. So the here we are looking for the opposite statement for capital greater than uh, this is 5 lakhs. So, so the opposite for capital greater than 5 lakhs is so for until so we need to replace it with while and then capital greater than 5 lakhs will become capital less than or is equal to so capital less than or is equal to 5 lakhs should be there so we are looking for something that's right so on the third option we have that so let us go with that and then see it says our response is correct let's move on to the next question so in the following program complete the statement that the program stops generating observations when distance reaches 250 miles or when 10 gallons of fuel has been used so here a data set called go 250 is being created and then by reading the data from cars so here we have a loop which says do gallons is equal to 1 to 10 so it says at least the loop has to be stopped when it is iterated for 10 times or so we are being asked to use a condition which actually stops when distance reaches 250 miles so we are looking for a case where the distance is less than 250 so we have to have an or condition or while condition so we have to increment or run it for at least 10 times or while the distance is less than 250 so we are looking for a while state while condition with distance less than 250 so we have here on the first option so let us go with that and see it says our response is correct so the explanation says the while expression causes the do loop to stop executing when the value of distance becomes equal to or greater than 250 so thank you for watching and keep learning